Hey everyone, it's Simple Dad back again with another exciting video. And today we're diving deep into seven hidden and powerful Samsung One UI features that you need to know about. So some of these are brand new One UI 8 features while others come from One UI 7, but trust me, each one will change how you use your Galaxy device. So we'll cover privacy tricks, gallery upgrades, Wi-Fi intelligent, and even casting hacks that Samsung never talked about. So make sure you watch till the end because some of these are absolute game changer. So let's set a goal for 500 likes on this video. And if you enjoyed discovering awesome Samsung tips and updates, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to The Simple Dad, your go-to place for the best Galaxy tips and tricks. So feature number one is your private albums in gallery, so Samsung has finally made it easier to keep your private photos truly private. So with the new private album feature in One UI 8, you can create albums inside your gallery that are locked away with your fingerprint, face unlock, or pin. So these albums are separated from your regular photos, meaning no one can actually stumble upon them, even if they're browsing your gallery. So here we can go ahead and unlock the device. So first you wanna go ahead and open up gallery. Next you wanna go ahead and tap on menu, then tap on settings. Now next, you wanna go ahead and scroll all the way down until you see About Gallery. So here we need to enable a secret menu called Gallery Labs, and you can do this by tapping on About Gallery, and then going ahead and tapping multiple times on version number, at least seven to eight times. Go back, and you'll see Gallery Labs. Tap on it. Now here you wanna go ahead and find Private Albums. So this support private album storage to keep images and video in hidden areas. So turn this feature on. Now you're gonna go back. You're gonna go ahead and close gallery completely. Now go ahead and restart gallery. And then in menu, you're gonna find private album. So as you can see, when you go ahead and tap on private albums, this is locked by your fingerprint, face, or pin. So go ahead and unlock it. And here you'll see all your pictures or photos or videos, which are in private albums. So if this is your first time you're enabling it, you won't see anything. For me, I've already enabled it in the past. Now to put photos or videos into the private album, you're gonna go ahead and open an album or a photo. So let's just say, for example, these red buildings. You'll go ahead and select both of them, tap on more at the bottom right, and then tap on move to private album. So this will basically move away from your normal album here, and you can only see them in your private album. So if I go back to my private album, you'll see those pictures right here, which has been moved to private albums. So now if anyone is just browsing your gallery, he or she won't be able to see any of those pictures or videos. So this basically enhances your privacy. It protects your personal photos and videos without needing third-party apps. It gives you easy organization so you can keep sensitive content neatly separated. And here you have quick access so you can open your private albums instantly with biometrics. No need to unlock a secure folder. And lastly, you have the peace of mind. So this is great for those who share their phones with family or friends. Feature number two is your search tab in gallery. So the new search tab in gallery makes finding your photos so much faster. Samsung's improved AI can recognize faces, objects, places, and even text inside an image. So if you search for dog, beach, or birthday, it'll instantly pull up your matching photos. So no more endless scrolling. So now when you go ahead and open up gallery, you'll have your search icon right here at the top right. If you're in pictures, it'll be at the top right somewhere here. If you're in stories, it'll be right here. So in One UI 8, you can go ahead and move this search icon to one of these tabs right here in between the stories and menu. So let me show you how to do this. So first, you're gonna go ahead and open a menu, tap on settings. You're gonna go ahead and scroll down all the way and find gallery labs. So to enable this, you're gonna go ahead and tap on about gallery and you need to go ahead and tap on multiple times on the version number until you see a message saying gallery labs has been enabled. Go back, go ahead and find this secret hidden menu, tap on this. Now you're gonna go ahead and find add search tab. Go ahead and turn this feature on. Now you wanna go back, go ahead and close gallery, restart it, and now you'll see this search tab right here. So from here at the top right, it has been moved away. So it has moved to the bottom right here. So now you can go ahead and press on search and you can do your search, whatever you like. So this is a time saver. You can quickly find what you need in seconds. It's AI powered results, smart to search using image recognition. You have better organization. So no need to manually label or sort everything. And this is perfect for creators. So you can easily locate content for editing or sharing. 
Feature number three is where you can skip recycle bin in My Files. In One UI 7, Samsung introduced the option to skip the recycle bin when deleting files in My Files. So instead of sending items to the recycle bin first, you can now choose to delete them instantly and permanently. So this is perfect for power users who like to keep storage clean and don't want extra few steps. So here, if I go ahead and open up download, and let's just say I wanna go ahead and delete this picture here. So if I go ahead and select it, press delete, as you can see, it basically asks me this option to move to the recycle bin. So I can go ahead and move it to recycle bin. If I go back, look at my recycle bin. So these are all the pictures that have gone through the recycle bin. Now let's just say, I don't want to make those images go to the recycle bin. I want to delete it completely straight. So here you can go ahead and introduce a option to permanently delete that file instead of going to the recycle bin. So it's basically skipping the recycle bin. So let me show you how to turn on this feature. So here, open up My Files, tap on three dots, then tap on Settings. Now you wanna go ahead and scroll down and find About My Files. So here, if you wanna enable My File Labs, you wanna go ahead and tap multiple times on this My Files logo at the top. And then you'll see this message here, Enable My File Labs. Close My Files, restart it again. Go to Settings, scroll down, and you'll see My File Labs. So go ahead and tap on this. Here, you're gonna go ahead and find this option called Permanently Delete Option. Go ahead and turn this feature on. So this will show a Permanent Delete option in the Delete dialog. So now if you go back, go to Downloads, and let's just say you wanna go ahead and delete something. So for example, this one here. Go ahead and select it, press Delete. So here in the Delete dialog, you'll see this option to Permanently Delete. So instead of going to the Recycle Bin, you can go ahead and skip the Recycle Bin, select that and delete it permanently. So this saves your storage space on your phone, no more duplicates sitting in the recycle bin, you have faster deletion, remove unnecessary files instantly, you can boost the performance of your phone, keep your storage optimized for better speed, and this is ideal for professionals, great when managing large files or projects. Feature number four is where you can reorganize folders in My Files. So the reorganize folder feature in One UI 8 lets you finally customize how your files or folders are displayed. You can sort, group, and arrange folders by name, date, size, or custom order, and even pin frequently used ones to the top. So it's like giving your file manager a total upgrade. So let me show you how you can turn on this feature. So here you wanna go ahead and open up My Files, tap on the three dots, then tap on Settings. Scroll down, and here you need to find My File Labs. Now this is a secret menu. This can be only enabled by going to About My Files and then tapping multiple times on My Files at the top until you see a message saying, my files has been enabled, the labs, go back. Now here you wanna go ahead and find my file labs. And here you need to find this option here, reorganize folders. So this will tidy up folders that has over 100 items. It will reduce the time of finding a file. So go ahead and turn this feature on. Now you wanna go ahead and give some time to your my files. So this will basically start to reorganize all your folders so that you can find your files easily. So with this, you have better control. Your Samsung organizes files the way you want it. You can boost productivity. You have quicker access to important documents. You have easy sorting, so you can instantly find what you're looking for. And you have a clean interface, keeping your storage tidy and intuitive. Feature number five is where you have the connectivity labs in intelligent Wi-Fi. So under intelligent Wi-Fi settings in One UI 8, you can find something new called Connectivity Labs. So this is a Samsung experimental zone for advanced Wi-Fi features. So here you can go ahead and test connection stability, optimize performance, and even analyze nearby networks to find the strongest and the most reliable signal. So let me show you how to enable this menu. So first you can go ahead and bring down your quick panel menu, tap on settings, scroll to connections, tap on Wi-Fi, and here you can go ahead and tap on the three dots and then tap on intelligent Wi-Fi. Now here you wanna go ahead and scroll down and find intelligent Wi-Fi. You wanna go ahead and tap multiple times until you see this new menu called Connectivity Labs. Now you wanna go ahead and tap on it. And here this will show you everything about your Wi-Fi. So what your phone connects to and how long it's connected to and your usage. So here, as you can see, my phone has been connected to my Wi-Fi today for 15 hours already. If you scroll down, you'll see my weekly report you'll see how long it's been connected to Wi-Fi on each day. If you tap on usage, you'll see all the usage reports of how, many, how much of internet I used. The Thursday, as you can see, I've used 4.3 gig. Now, if you go ahead and scroll down more, you'll find the band. So this is what band has been used 
from your phone, so 2.4 and 5 gig. If you scroll down more, you'll see the standard Wi-Fi 4, 5, 6, 7. If you scroll down more, you'll see the network information. So here, these are all the other networks which your phone has scanned, however, you have not connected to. And then if you go ahead and scroll down more, you'll find all these different settings which you can tweak and play around with. So this improves your stability, so you reduce Wi-Fi drops and weak connections. In this menu, you get advanced testing, so it helps diagnose connectivity issues. You have smart switching, so automatically connects to the best available network. Feature number six is where you have your home Wi-Fi inspector. So with the home Wi-Fi inspector in One UI 7, Samsung gives users a built-in way to analyze and secure their Wi-Fi network. So it checks for some unusual devices, connection speed, and security risk. It even helps you ensure your home network is both fast and secure and safe. And also it basically shows you where to place your router or your PC or your laptop. So let me show you how to use it. So first you wanna go ahead and bring down the quick panel menu, tap on settings, find connection. Now from here, find Wi-Fi, and then go ahead and tap on three dots and then tap on intelligent Wi-Fi. Now here you need to go ahead and enable connectivity labs menu. You can do this by tapping multiple times on intelligent Wi-Fi. I would say at least seven to eight times until you see a message saying connectivity labs has been enabled. Now go ahead and tap on this. Now go ahead and scroll down and find home Wi-Fi inspection. Tap on this. So now you can go ahead and check your home Wi-Fi. So tap on start, choose your Wi-Fi, next, tap on next, and then go ahead and tap on start. So now here the aim is to have these two lines above the red line. So if your line is in the region between minus 14 and minus 30, that's a good sign. Basically it's showing you, you have good signal. So you wanna go ahead and take your phone and walk around with your phone and see where your signal is best. And also you wanna go ahead and check where your signal is the worst. So wherever you see this line going down to below minus 70, you want to go ahead and avoid that place. So you don't want to place any Wi-Fi router or your PC there because there are things which are blocking the connection. So this gives you enhanced security so you can detect unauthorized devices on your network. You have faster performance so it identifies and fixes slow connection. You have the home protection as well so it keeps your smart devices safe. And lastly, feature number seven is where you can allow all apps to be cast using Smart View. So one of the most exciting addition in One UI 8 is the ability to cast any apps using Smart View. So even those that previously blocked screen mirroring, now you can. So that means you can now enjoy your favorite streaming apps, games, and even social media directly on your Smart TV without any limit. So let me show you how to enable this. So here you need to go ahead and bring down the quick panel menu, tap on Smart View. Now you wanna go ahead and tap on the three dots at the top right, and then tap on Settings. Now next, you wanna go ahead and tap on labs. And now here, you wanna go ahead and find this option called allow all apps to be cast. So Smart View will attempt to cast any apps you use, even if it's not compatible, some apps may not appear currently on your TV. So you can go ahead and turn this feature on. So here, you can go ahead and cast a game which you're playing on your Samsung Galaxy device and cast it on your TV, so you can basically have a good viewing experience. So here you have the freedom to cast anything, no app restriction anymore. This is great for gaming and streaming. You can enjoy content on your big screen. It's universal compatible. You can work across all major smart TVs. You have effortless sharing, so this is perfect for family movie nights or presentations. And that's it, seven amazing One UI 7 and One UI 8 features that truly enhance your Galaxy experience. Samsung has been adding some really smart upgrades lately, and these features prove how much control and customization you have over your device. So if you found this video helpful, don't forget to hit the like button. Let's reach our goal of 500 likes. Share this video with your fellow Galaxy users and subscribe to The Simple Dad for more hidden features, updates, and Samsung tips every day. Thanks for watching, and as always, this is The Simple Dad, helping you make your galaxy smarter every day. See you in the next one.